Hi and Namaskaram everybody. You can see here, I have chopped the head and removed the scales on both sides of the fish and applied mixture of turmeric and salt over it, keeping it aside for some time at, for at most 3 to 5 minutes so that any bacteria or toxins and the fishy odor that you smell from the fish you can get rid of. If you have some more fishes, you can keep rubbing the fish at a time and you can clean it off. You can see here the fish looks fresh. This is from Atlantic Ocean. It's plumpy too. Here it goes the plumpy porchy. I would observe the fishes or how elders at home would clean and cut it at home as my home was few miles walkable distance to fish harbors and markets nearby there were variety of fishes which used to attract me. Malpe Fish Harbor is one of the well-known places in South Canada in Karnataka state of India. Have you ever tried making such gashes on the fish? If not, do try it. It really works well when you apply the masalas. People over here call this fish as poggy, but I pronounced it as poggy. Please excuse me guys. Plumpy poggy fish is ready with coats to get the masalas applied all over it. Since I had the homemade masalas ready previously, I am filling in the masalas into the curds and apply it all over it. And this is how my mother had taught when I was a teenager. I still remember this whenever I make the curds that picture comes in front of me. Here, it's really a good way to make the gashes over the fish, filling in the masalas where you get the absolutely delicious taste when fried or grilled. We have to apply the masalas in the stomach area as well, rubbing over all the leftover masalas, not letting go it wasted. Here I'm not showing you the recipe of the masala in this video. The ingredients goes like this. By color, you could make out that it has some red chili powder, turmeric, a little bit of coriander powder, gram flour, salt, and I have used the turmeric pulp to mix the ingredients and adding a little bit of water and salt. You could replace the tamarind with lime juice too. Some people prefer using ginger and garlic paste in the mixture of the paste but I have not used it here as the fish was not that order and it, it's a good fish, porgy is a good fish. And here our porgy is ready to be on tawa. Let's place the tawa and let it get heated. Then we have to put some oil and we have to let it over for some time, over here for some time. And then, once the oil is heated, we will use the semolina. You can use normal semolina. And here, I have used the banyan millet rava. I have made it myself as I had um, no stock of normal semolina. Now, I'm going to flip the fish both the sides with semolina. The semolina should be coated all over the fish you could see in such a nice way how it's coated over here and now we are placing the fish on the hot tawa you can grill this fish too using this masalas or else you can wrap it in an aluminium foil and keep it in the oven sizzling yes it's sizzling i love the way it's getting sizzled and let the fish cook for some time keep checking and make sure that your fish or maslas are not getting stick to the pan so that once the other side is cooked we are going to flip it over so that 
this side of the fish gets cooked as well. You need some patience while making tawa fish fry. Yes, here it goes. You can see the fish is cooked on the other side. It's a bit fried. It looks dark, but as we have the semolina over there, no worries until the other side is cooked. Cool and continue with your activities which is spanning to finish until it is cooked as it is on the low flame is it will be cooked slowly no need to stand by the gas stove and waste your time over here yes it happens the way it has to happen and the other thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to heat the back side of the fish as well you have to fry it place the ladle like this or you can you can have some other uh, kind of things that you have in the kitchen hold items to hold the fish or you can hold on the both side to get the support and uh, let the back side of the fish get cooked plumpy porgy fish fry tower fry is ready here you go thanks for watching do make it and have it surely you will like it because it's very delicious thank you for watching our videos do like and subscribe as well thank you once again